Hey y'all, what's going on? Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids, and uh, I just wanted to kind of do a little recap of the week and uh, show you what I have left and um, let you know that uh, I was successful. I spent, uh, I had a $28 budget for two people, that's um, $2 a day for, the, for seven days, and uh, I spent uh, $26.85, so... Um, I have a dollar fifteen left, um, which I was thinking uh, that maybe I would have gotten a thing of uh, pasta that had pasta one night. But I wanted to use up what I had in my fridge. That's why the last day I decided to do a little tacos, finish off the rice and the lentils. But um, I was debating on maybe a little bit of a spaghetti or like a bean chili. So quite a bit of options still. But uh, let me just show you what I have left. Um, really not that much. I actually thought I would have more. But, um, you know, we, we ate until we were satisfied and we just didn't let anything go to waste. And it was plenty of food because uh, I like to eat and Jen likes to eat. So we weren't eating little tiny little portions trying to, you know, survive for a week. This was set up so that, you know, we could eat, enjoy the meals. Everything tasted good. We could eat until we were full, no one was like suffering um, from being too hungry and all that stuff. So, uh, very filling stuff. Um, I've got like probably enough for two more days left of this coffee. Um, I have to say I was pretty impressed with this dollar store coffee. I usually buy like an organic one from Trader Joe's, um, but uh, this one wasn't, wasn't bad. So um, I, I had my coffee, but I just have about probably enough for two more days left. I've got uh, maybe like a half a cup of flour left. So use that mostly for the roti breads and for um, making breakfast stuff like pancakes and waffle mixes. And again, if you want to take this up a notch and your budget, you know, obviously is more than two dollars, then um, you know, the, then then buy like a whole wheat flour, or um, I like it with the instant oatmeal mix in too just to make it a little healthier. The idea behind this is that, um, you know, sometimes people lose their job. People, you know, go out to dinner and spend an arm or leg or something breaks on the car or the kids need new shoes or someone gets ill um, and is out of work. I mean, things happen all the time. So whether you're, you know, used to spending, you know, 500 to $1,000 for your family a month on grocery bills, it's always nice to know some inexpensive recipes, base, basic recipes that can get you through some tough times or, you know, just make up for uh, a time when, you know, maybe something came up randomly that you didn't expect and, uh, and there you go. Or you just want to save yourself a crap load of money and then at the end of the year take a nice vacation, you know, or, or you know, take your husband and wife out for a nice dinner or treat yourself to a massage or something you wouldn't normally do. You really can save a lot of money um, just knocking off your food bill. So uh, incorporate a couple of these recipes and you can get as creative as you want with them. These are just nice and simple. It kept the cost down really, really inexpensively. But feel free to add anything you like to anything that you, you've seen. But um, kind of got off the subject a little bit, but I wanted to mention all that. I've got a box and a half of raisins left. Um, I had initially thought maybe a dessert, a rice pudding, but um, I bought a smaller thing of rice. I probably could have done a bigger one because uh, I used up all my rice and done a dessert. So that's just another little inexpensive dessert idea. I've got the two uh, bean burgers that I had made um, that stuck in my freezer and um, that I can use sometime this week or next for bean burgers. And I've got uh, four cups of the pinto beans. Um, and this is what I do all the time. I usually buy a bunch of beans and I spend one day and I just cook them all up and then I just bag them up and I uh, in like either one cup or two cup measurements and um, stick them in my freezer. I have a deep freezer, which is a great investment. Um, I really enjoy mine. They're inexpensive if you have the room for them. You could probably find one on use for under a hundred bucks. But, um, yeah, I like to have all this stuff uh, done ahead of time. It's pennies and, uh, and it's easy. And then all I have to do is set it on the counter to defrost and it's ready for 
for anything that any dish that I need. But oh, and then I have uh, my popsicles, three popsicles that I made. Um, I haven't dug into that yet, so this can just sit in the freezer too. So pantry and freezer stuff are great because you get a lot of shelf life out of it, and um, that's how you um, keep your costs down too. Is that each week I can kind so I have this left over. Doesn't seem like much, but this was one week. If I did this every single week, eventually you start to accumulate things. And you can also save a lot of money too by just using what you have in your freezer, in your pantry, in your refrigerator. Just start, just say, I'm going to just use up everything I have and just start making menus based upon what you have. And then, then you find that you only spent $50 at the grocery store instead of $150 because you just need to pick up odd and end things to to add on to what you have. So, and look things up, Google something to go with uh, whatever thing you have in the fridge to use. And make sure you use your leftovers, you can reinvent them as well. So, those are just my little tips. And um, I've got so many that I just have to do a couple of videos on this stuff because I really en enjoy sharing it and putting it into practice myself. And because um, I like to take nice vacations and uh, personally,